Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to add custom supports in Orca Slicer. I repeat, we're going to add custom supports to your, to your 3D print files in Orca Slicer. So first, uh, the first step is going to be to open Orca Slicer. Next, we need to import our file. Chances are you already have your file imported. So for this demo, I'm going to be using this Psyduck Pokemon. I'm going to upscale the sizing a little bit. And then as you can see here, if we turn to the side here, this is where we're going to need supports right here on the file, right? Because the 3D printer can't print out of nowhere. And chances are you need custom supports in a certain area because maybe the other supports are just too much, whatever. So what we do here is now that we're done and finished with our file and we're ready to like move past, click on the preview tab and it's going to slice your entire file. This will then go to the next screen where we can put custom supports in. So what we need to do here is we need to, now that we're in the preview tab here, scroll down to this section right here. We have quality, strength, and support, the tabs. Click on the support tab. We need to enable the support, and then now we need to choose from what type of support. We need to go to the normal manual section. And again, you can also use the tree manual. Uh, the manual essentially is you putting in customizable supports where you want them to be. So now that you've done that, click on slice. And actually, this is a little weird but we actually have to go back to the prepare tab now. And then what I need to do is highlight. So click on the file you have printing. Uh, what I need to do is actually spin it around. What you wanna try to do is get a good view of where you're gonna need to actually place the supports. I need them right here, right? Under the beak. And then what we need to do here is we need to click on this icon right here where it says painting support. It's going to allow us to paint a section where you need that support. So click on that. If you hover your mouse over to the area, you can see where you're going to be able to start print or painting the support where you want it. I'm going to increase the pen size a little bit here so it's bigger. And then as you can see here, I can click and highlight where I want the slicer to automatically put the supports in. And once you're done highlighting it, all you have to do is click on slice plate again, and it's going to put the supports in there. See how it only put the custom supports right there? It's pretty cool, right guys? So again, you can add custom supports anywhere. Uh, if I click the prepare tab, or actually preview, and I switch it to the tree type of custom supports, and then go back to slice it, it's going to look a little different. Sometimes the tree does a little better and it's like less uh, invasive to the actual print itself. So just give this a second to slice. And as you can see here, this is gonna be a better choice. So. This is how to add custom supports in Orca Slicer. Please consider subscribing and hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions.